South African designers are exploring original textiles and evolved pattern techniques to create unique collections which are inspired by our natural geology and diverse culture. We're pretty much inspired by the African landscape and also the differences between our two different aesthetics. We're using different types of fabrications and walls and Nicholas's weaving technique and also just seeing how traditional tailored pieces could gel well with a fabrication like that. Collaborating for the first time, Lokanyum Dindi's strong African aesthetic is the perfect canvas for Nicholas Kutz's artesian weaving technique. We started investigating cactuses and taking photos of exotic plants and we wanted to kind of translate that into fabrication. So kind of like moss, algae, and we wanted to have it a very tactile range so when you saw it you wanted to actually touch it and feel it. Lacanio always loves looking back at silhouettes that are very classic and sophisticated and we wanted to kind of translate that through a modernized version and using fabrication that would complement the weaving. Celebrating 20 years of design, Amanda Laird Cherry reflected on our cultural heritage to modernize traditional Zulu attire. It was a look at past ranges and giving an overview, one of the main inspirations was the Implacello pants, which are the patched together pants that the migrant workers wore many years ago and are still wearing today. And you can take the same elements and make it into a different type of garment. You can put them so many different ways. So it was just about trying to make sure that within the range there was a variety of how it was worn. You just have to do it as you see it. It's like working with live elements. I like that idea that it's fluid, almost anti-jigsaw puzzle. So instead of putting it together, you take it apart and you don't put it together the way it's meant to be. Inspired by social issues around skin, Genevieve Lyon focused on texture and colour to present a multi-layered collection. The collection is called Makula and it's a very, very heart-wrenching, very close, like, emotional collection. It started off with the inspiration from an albino boy with freckles. We took the inspiration from the freckles on a milk face and took it into fashion. We want to bring the beauty of albinoism into life. So it's about the obtrusiveness and the juxtaposition of beauty. And the main focus of freckles is individuality. And the collection takes inspiration from a lot of military elements, and that's like a shield from society, having this extreme individual difference. We use felt and wool, we're like traditional tailored materials to put into garments and we actually painted freckles onto garments as well so that if you don't have freckles you're not excluded. And then we have skin underneath that is actually a texture of skin. It's like a scuba, it's like a diving suit so it actually feels like skin gives you that feeling. So it's also a play on thick and thin and layered and a heavy layered collection. Layering just comes to me naturally. It's a good way of adding proportion, texture, as well as thickness and heaviness to the collection. For this one specifically, I wanted it to be very layered to show that traveler aspect. To represent the albino, he's traveling around society to find his place. He's displaced all the time, always traveling. Weaving together diverse fabrics, textures and silhouettes, our local designers have succeeded in representing our own eclectic society on the catwalk.